touch the stars When we are happy where we are Why do we need to touch the stars When we are happy where we are Why do we need to touch the stars When we are happy where we are Why do we need to touch the stars When we are happy where we are that was a bit sudden. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Roz here and I'm on mytimetv.live and I'm also cross-posting to my Roz Boundy page, the Hypnosis Plus with Roz page and simulcasting to YouTube if everything's working right. <laughs> so if it's one, if you're wanting to actually, whoop, if you're wanting to actually um, be on the Mm, mytimetv.live click that link that is above so that you can see comments like this one so we can have you up like that so hi Karen how are you this morning you're yeah, right on time yes you have made it today and uh, so have I actually <laughs> I haven't slipped it Oops, I just noticed how hairy my hair is isn't that a weird one <laughs> yes my hair is hairy and I just noticed I'm probably wearing the same top as yesterday but that doesn't matter it really doesn't so if you just go and do this, it'd be good. So let others know that I'm live now. I have got that, those website, well, the website, as well as the Facebook page, but I'm not going to leave that one scrolling. I'll just let it go for another couple. And good morning, Kathy. How are you? Wonderful to see you here. Kate here, lovely to see you here too. And um, we've got Sarah. Good morning to you as well. Oh, I love the flowers and the starry eyes. That's great <laughs> because isn't that what we hope to be is actually seeing our own stars, our own potential. And we all have, well, great potential, don't we? Now I'm going to hide that one so that we don't have that anymore. And what I'm going to do, just describe again, it is just a general card reading of the particular spread that I've been using for over a year now. And it's using the Lenormand deck or Lenormand. Now, I'm just going to swap that around so that we can see it in context a lot better. And here we go. There's my Apple Pencil. This is the deck. It's the Gilded Reverie Lenormand, Lenormand, Lenormand that I use. I've got some other decks here too that I'm just... I'm not pushing them, but um, just showing them because there is those different decks that you can get and they're absolutely beautiful little decks. Right, and that one with, the, with it being in the tin, with it being in the tin, it actually rattles a bit, doesn't it? So what we've got here, now I'll take that away, we have a card we had yesterday <laughs> as our outcome today. I thought that was rather nifty when I saw that. <laughs> it's rather cute. So, and hi to you too, Diane. Lovely to see you here too. Now, what I've got here, um, it is the five card spread that we usually use. So I've got uh, the store. I'm wondering where my visual, if I go up like that, is it looking like I'm looking at the cards? <laughs> it's interesting with angles and cameras and stuff because I have the cards are over here on the table at the side, as I've said before. Uh, we've got the stalk in the workspace this morning. So it's indicating a bit of change and rearranging. So that actually I think is really, well, it is significant because uh, we are in spring now. We've got the beautiful buddings on the trees, the flowers coming out, you know, the daffodils and all sorts. It's just starting to feel like that change up in energy. It's beautiful. So it's feeling like the change up in and change around in our workspace in whatever way. Freshening it up, cleansing, bringing new things in. So um, keep an eye on that for what you've got in your workspace today, wherever that is. And, of course, the beautiful lucky card, we've got the clover. That's card two, is the clover. Pretty obvious, four-leaf clover. It's a well-known saying is that being the for good luck. So in that home space, it really is meaning that. And good morning to you too, Tracy. I see you're over on my Ros Boundy page. It's wonderful. So keep that in mind as far as what you've got coming into your home space, like that 
that energy of good luck. So anything that you're actually contemplating or you've got decisions about or people you're going to meet and things like that may even be the time to just put a little bit of a flutter on a, on a lotto ticket or something like that. Um, but I'm feeling it's just good luck in those decisions. Whatever you're choosing, it really is with a positive outcome today. It's just going to flow well in that aspect. And we've got up here the letter and that's in the unexpected position. So that in itself is, um, you know, I don't know whether you get the every other day mail deliveries and stuff like that these days, but it can certainly mean in our world now with the technology that we've got, it's not just a postal service. But I'm feeling in this instance it might be that there is a, a something that's along that line. It's in the physical, feels like it's going to be a letter or a parcel or something like that. It even could be a contract of some sort that you might be offered uh, signing up with that type of thing. So just uh, keep an eye out for that because it is that unexpected energy, okay? Um, it can be emails and stuff like that too, but I, I am actually feeling quite strongly that for today it is that formal in writing type stuff because I'm expecting a few things to do with that sort of thing myself today. So, you know, I am interpreting a bit more along my own what I've got happening around me, of course, but and you need to be doing that for your own energies, what you've got happening around you because you're the one that knows you best. So, well, of course, you're going to interpret the way that you feel it. <laughs> That's the whole idea of me doing this so that we can share you know, it is, it's that sharing of what is an intuitive way of reading cards, of getting guidance, of being able to gain some clarity. Well, that's why I'm doing it. So, And we've got the moon in that space. That is your role. And it really feels to me like that's a bit of a nurturing through the cycles we all go through. I'm not quite sure. I know we've come off a full moon last week on the 2nd, I think it was, so that we'll be on that waxing waxing, waning, waning cycle, <laughs> the waning cycle. So if you're starting to feel a little bit low and needing to feel some time to rest, it probably is the best time to do that. Clean out a bit of the junk and and give, uh, and I think that's more of an internal, internal cleanse in some respects probably. And if it, you're looking at it on the physical, it could be just a detox and nurturing yourself with that nice cuddly feeling, you know, having for me it would be chocolate but I'm not eating chocolate at the moment so <laughs> um yeah so in whatever way that you need to oh hi Tina lovely to see you over there you're actually on my Ros Boundy page this isn't the timeline that like this morning spread isn't when I do individual cards um, that's usually left for the Friday night ones with Leanne now since I've changed that round timeline so but it is lovely to see you there if you want to click on that space at the top you can say hello on the uh, mytontv.live one so that you can have your name brought up like that like Diane's got there with the hi anyway so uh, just mentioning that quickly so that the moon really has it, it is more a cyclical thing and the lunar being that a nurturing side it's the softer side of what the sunlight is you know we we do have that yin and yang the the masculine feminine and all that so it's part of that balance and I think we our role is to sort of find that balance and feeling knowing we're in our cycle and you know where we're meant to be we've got those little mechanisms that just work perfectly in our lives okay well, it's one feeling anyway. And right in that centre, we've got the time card. So it's got all the little essence, you know, the different ways that we can tell time and everything. So I'm feeling because it's in that outcome position, it really is just that level of by the end of the time, we'll think, yeah, I have done everything I was meant to do today. Even if there was some things that, you know, you feel like you've missed out uh, forgotten or whatever everything is in perfect time at whatever point of time it happens so um, I, I do reckon it's it's more about as you're coming to the end of the day and you're spending that time just before you go to sleep 
reflecting on your day, you'll have that realisation as far, you know, the outcome is, oh, look, everything is perfect in the timing that it's been. And whatever is next, what's to be left for the next day, um, or not at all, some things we actually do plan that we feel that we must do, have to do, and in the end, it's actually better that it wasn't done and it certainly wasn't going to come into that existence. It was just that process of moving from what was our thoughts and desires that for the ultimate good of all just didn't eventuate, you know, things that wane out. I mean, that's part of what we do in this change of renesting, of reorganising, of bringing that fresh light into our space and place. Um, so, you know, it's going to work all the way through, especially since, like for myself, I do work from home. So that's bringing in that beautiful new energy of, of some other things that are happening and bringing it all together in whichever way they need to be, whether it's by contract or letter, communication. We all know communication is important and keeping ourselves actually in that um, you know, awareness of, of where we're at with our our circle, our pathway, our cycle of things that are meant to be. And ultimately, really, it, it comes down to today is going to have that beautiful sensation of good luck throughout all of the day. So I'm feeling that with that, um, you know, step out into your day with confidence and knowing that whatever is going to be will be, especially in that timeline um, with the outcome there now i am going to just pop up the um just going to actually take that one out for the moment pop up the card reading stream that i've got for tomorrow uh yeah we're tuesday today aren't we so this is tomorrow night's uh, you can still come in on the 30 dollar for the night or and i do have some uh recordings of these and I will tidy them up so that if you're going to pay the hundred dollars for all the four weeks it is in a sequence of what is little nodules so I'll be able to send you what are the recordings and that for that hundred dollars if that's what you'd like to be joining in on and still come in on the zoom meeting for tomorrow night and the fourth one next week so um, that's just popping up the links there for those this morning and we've got oh hi Shaz how are you good to see you here too and I'm not sure whether you're on the YouTube or whether you're on the my time the Facebook one one of those things that uh, yeah um, it's not showing anymore <laughs> so that was actually quite convenient because it's two different audiences really ah uh, now I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, we've completed that reading. So take it, uh, you know, if you need to actually go back and just watch the replay of the reading itself of the cards and with that feeling, you know, that emphasis, that going within your own space so you can, you can feel more what the cards are doing, saying to you. Even if you need to take the volume down and not listen to me at all, don't hear what I'm saying, just watch where the pointer is and where your eye is going to it as it's moving through that reading. Um, take up what the messages are that you're receiving with your own intuitive guidance and that. So, ah, oh, good. Yes. So, Karen, thank you. That's lovely. Ah, oh, so you're on the my time. Yeah. This morning I didn't put the YouTube link in the actual uh, description in my profile <laughs> sharing the photo I thought yeah Facebook is showing up to be a very funny thing especially when it's now this updated upgraded version is it any better who knows we'll be using it because there's not going to be the choice uh, I have noticed some things that are a bit different and uh, still a bit buggy so that's why I decided not to do that but certainly go over to my YouTube channel at Ros Boundy on YouTube. And uh, I have got the buy me a coffee. I'm still trying to get that working properly. Uh, it, it had a bit of a glitch. I had two accounts. Silly me. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock as well. So 
We'll see you then. And until then, keep being the best person that you can be. Okay. Namaste.